What up, YouTube family? Welcome to SMG, man. Symbolic Mind Generation. Uh, go ahead and hit the like button, man. I got a funny video for y'all today. As y'all can see, right? I'm just going to go into some topics and shit like that. You know, things that, you know, for a dude coming home after doing a long time, you got to come out in this society and see this type of shit right here. That's what I want to talk about. Things we see in society that wasn't there before. So as you can see, surrounded, you know, by my head, around my head are some photos. And I got some BBL joints up here. And I'm going to tell you all something, right? I was once a brother, I am a brother, who appreciated a nice ass on a woman. Man. You know what I'm saying? But it's not the main thing. Like, to me, I think I'm more attracted to the front than I am more the back. You know, to see a woman, nice woman with a nice flat stomach that got the hips and she got a gap. You know what I mean? Just that front shot with this nice titty. Just the front is like, to me, I'm more of a, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see that. That's To me, that's sex appeal. You know what I'm saying? That's sex appeal. You know, so all this shit you see right here, man. All this shit you see on the screen, man. I'm not down with this shit right here. But you know what I mean? I'm talking about... I'm talking about, bruh, this shit ain't nothing but fix a flat, bruh. It was straight fix a flat, two or three cans in each ass cheek. What the fuck is going on? I mean, when I first came home, bruh, I was in the highway house. I go to the grocery store. And uh, I'm in the parking lot of the grocery store. And I see my first one, bruh, after 15 years of being behind the wall. I see my first BBL. You know what I mean? And uh, she was an older white woman, man. All this shit right here was burnt, from, you know, how they burn in the sun. It was all wrinkled, you know, that looked like lunch meat right here. But she had a brand new, big old, brand new, brand new stinking ass on her, bro. That joint was brand new. I was looking at that shit, bro. I could not believe it. It just did not look right. That joint was high, too. It had the high back on it. It was coming out. You know what I mean? She was about 60. You know what I'm saying? All this shit old right here, the chin and all that shit is loose and shit. But that ass she was looking, I was like, yeah, no. I'm sorry. I just feel like, man, when you see when you see one that ain't done right, it make you feel like something wrong, but they put something wrong in her body. Just, you know, it might be contagious. I don't know what the fuck. I don't want none of it. You know what I mean? You see all this shit right, I don't want none of this right here. You know what I mean? Do you see this shit? Do you see what the fuck is going on, bro? Mm -mm -mm. Ain't no way I can do it. This is not a murse. Y'all hear me? This is not a murse. Man purse, Merce. Man, y'all slow as what? This is not a Merce, man. You know, with the strap over the shoulder bag, you know, with the almost kind of with the duffel look, you know, kind of slick. You know what I'm saying? Gotta, that's the only way you're going to really, for it to be masculine, man, dudes be rocking the Merces, man. I don't know, but I'm coming home and, dude, and dudes is ran, ran fucking purses, bro. This is a purse, bro. Nigga, what the, man, bruh, 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 no, bruh. Dude. What the fuck, bruh? Like, yo, none of your dudes told you, like, man, what you doing? <laughs> none of your dudes was like, nah, bruh. So you pieced that whole joint up with that color. And you want to run this blue feminine ass female purse to say this going to go good with your outfit. Is that what you're trying to tell me what you did? Because I'm trying to figure out the, the brain power behind this whole getting ready to uh, step out and with this hookup on. I can't even say you, you, you gay. Cause I don't know, it just don't look like look like you just trying to you over you trying to do some shit and you think you're doing some cold shit and the shit ain't it ain't hitting, bruh. You made a mistake, bruh. This is a purse, bruh. 
Look at the color of it with your hookup. I don't get it, bro. Damn, I don't get it. I don't get it. The things we got to come home to and see in this society after doing all that time. Mm -mm. I'm going to put the next photo up on the screen. Now, what in the bump clock roster octail shit is going on here? <clears throat> they got the oxtail and I'm sad. They got the, the lock on the oxtail, bro. They got the oxtails on lock. You need a key to get to the oxtail. Bro, when did this happen, bro? You know what I'm saying? I heard of, you know, the Jamaican spot. They got the oxtail soup. I ain't never heard this shit. You know what I mean? So, somebody please fill me in on why the oxtails needs to be locked up, bro. Because somebody please tell me, was it, is this, who's stealing the oxtails? What bump clock out here stealing the oxtails, man? <laughs> Oh my God, man. Who's still in the oxtail, man? This shit is crazy, man. What in the Arab half black on half Arab stone shit is going on here, man? And speaking of that, look at this right here. <laughs> speaking of the Arab, Arab, you know, we say Arab. You know what I mean? But speaking of the Arab and black mix, right? Who put this joint right here together? Boy, y'all thought y'all was putting together a, a whole a cold piece of mix, right? You know what I'm saying? Now look, this is the scenario. You're on a third date with somebody and they invited you over to the house. And they said, go on and help yourself in the fridge. They got wine in there, beer, whatever you need. You know, the ice, or you want to make a drink, blah, blah, blah. And you open up the fridge and you see this. <laughs> That's y'all <your> dinner. <laughs> That's y'all drink with dinner. <laughs> hey man, that's a deal, hey. Done deal for me. I'm out of here, bro. I'm blocking the number and everything. Nah. Uh-uh. I can't do it, bro. I'm, hey, I'm a bougie-ass, kind of stuck-up kind of dude, dude. Because I ain't fucking I ain't, I ain't fucking with her, man. I ain't fucking with her. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Who? Look, they, I can see if they had some decent beer up in there. Look at the beer they got in there, man. Look at the... <laughs> Look at the dinner pack, bro. Look at that. <laughs> hey, hey, man, ain't no motherfucking way, nigga. I'm eating out of it. nothing out of this motherfucking house, bro. If I open up your refrigerator and you got that in there, bro, I don't want nothing out of here, bro. I'm serious. I'm gone. I'm blocking the number, all that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? This on my mind, bro. This with a dude who. Come down into society. This is what the shit I'm seeing. This the shit. This shit is like a. I put a, a a ten on a two with it. When I see this shit, y'all might think this shit is normal. I see this shit and I'm stuck for like a day or two. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Man, what the? What am I supposed to think? What the fuck is going on, bro? What is going on? <laughs> oh shit. I'm about to do one more video, man. I'm doing a video right now, man, about TVs in jail. The TV will get you killed. So I'm putting out two videos. Y'all going to see the same hookup on. I'm just going to make another video right now. But anyway, I just want to make y'all laugh a little bit. This symbolic mind generation. Don't forget to hit that like and share this video, bro. Thank y'all.